Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft data pack tutorial. Today we are doing ray casting. This is actually part two of a three-part series that I started yesterday where we made a custom death message. You don't need to have seen that tutorial to get the ray casting part of this one working, but if you do plan to go all the way through and make the laser, it could be handy. But with that, let's jump right in. So this is where we left off our project last time. For any of you who just want to do ray casting, you don't need this damage type. Just have a default data pack set up here. So to get the ray casting working, in tutorial, we'll create a new folder called function. We need three functions. Raycast.mc function. Raycast is the function that we will actually run, and this will get our raycast set up. Next, we need laser.mc function. Laser.mc function is the function that will actually do the raycasting. And finally, we need a hit underscore check.mc function. This is the function that will detect when we hit something. So let's get started in raycast. We want to execute positioned tilde tilde one point five this will start it in like the middle of our head tilde and we want to do another positioned and we're going to start this one we're going to do these up arrows and then 0.5 this will start it half a block in front of the player and we will run function laser control s to save now we'll go into laser and we will create our laser beam so you can skip this part if you don't want your raycast to be visible. But I do. I'm going to do particle, dust, some curly brackets, color. I want mine to be red, so I'll do some square brackets. 1, 0, 0. That's red. Outside of those, comma, scale, I think 2 works pretty well. We'll do it at these coordinates. 0, 0, 0 for our delta, speed 1, and count 1. And now we will check for a hit in front of us. So we will do execute, positioned, the up arrows, and 0.5 again. So we're checking half a block in front of us. We will run function hit check. Control S to save that. Okay, so in here, first we'll check if we hit a block. So execute if block at these coordinates, because we're already checking half a block in front of us. Air, so we're checking if it's air, and we will run function laser. So if the block in front of us is air, we haven't hit any blocks, so we will go on to run this laser again, another half block in front of us. And control S to save. Now in your Minecraft world, you can do slash reload. And if we get up a little pillar here, we can run our function raycast. And you can see it stops when it hits the block. If we get too close to the edge, you can see it goes through it. If we wanted it to be a bit more precise in here, we could lower this 0.5 to like 0.25 or something. The lower you get, the more precise, but the more lag. All right. Now let's check for entities. So to do this, we will execute as all entities with DX zero. So this is checking for the entity's hitbox within a block. And now we don't want to check within a block. We want to be really precise. So to do that, we will do positioned. We want to go back almost a block. So tilde negative 0.99 blocks. And we'll do that for all of them. And then we want to check if entity ourself still has a DX of zero. If so, we have a hit. So we can run return fail. This will stop our function. So control S to save. And in Minecraft to test this, we can get a creeper here. And I'll get some barriers to keep it in place. So 
just like that, spawn your creeper in there. Make sure you slash reload. And if we run our function again, you can see it stops when it hits the creeper. As well as stopping if we hit this block up here. Now, alone, this is pretty useless except for seeing invisible blocks and entities. So let's get it to run a command when it hits. So copy this entire thing before the return. Just like that. And if so, before we fail, we can run a command as this entity. If you needed it to be positioned at the entity, you could do at, at s. Or if you wanted to be at where it hit, you could do a positioned and then back the point nine nine, but I just need it to run as the entity. I want to damage the entity that got hit, so at S, I'll do four hearts, which is eight damage, and I will find my custom damage, just like that. Control S to save, and back in Minecraft, if we reload, we can see if we run it now, it hurts our creeper, and we can keep doing it, and the creeper died. And if we switch into survival and look down, we can even hit ourself. And if we die, you can see our custom death message from last episode. So I hope this helped you. If you're following along with this series, our next episode is going to be on custom items, which again are useful for other things. But we are specifically going to be making a laser gun, and we are going to run our Raycast function when we right-click with the item. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to be sure you don't miss it, you could always subscribe. It helps me out a ton. But with that, thank you for watching. See ya!